My Lord, when the fire alarm bingo is sounded, you leave everything you are doing and report to the parade ground or to the armory. is in charge of the sector from the Lagos Island of the Marina Faji up to Victoria Island, Ikoi, Victoria Island, Leki, Jakonde, Aja, Badore, Shangotelu, up to Ekwe. give you and let us all be on the same wavelength. I shall examine the rules of engagement here. It is the duty of an officer or soldier to ensure the enforcement of the law and order in conjunction with other security agencies. Troops are duty bound to intervene in any situation to avoid a breakdown in peace, stability, or law and order of an area where they are deployed. It is inexcusable for troops 
to stand aside and watch the security situation deteriorate, leading to loss of life or damage to property without intervening. Such intervention should be based strictly on sound judgment and within the ambit of the code of conduct for internal security operations while exhibiting good professional ethics. This comes into play when troops have been deployed. Let us look at the rules of engagement for Operation Mesa and other internal security operations we will be deployed for. One, and most importantly, the principle of minimum force and proportionality must be applied at all times. Whenever operational situation permits, every reasonable effort shall be made to control the situation through measures short of using force, including personal contact and negotiation. As we will see later, this was the modus operandi. The use of lethal force shall only be resorted to if all other means to control the situation has failed or in the case of an expected attack or suspected improvised explosive device attack during which a delay could lead to loss of life or serious injury to personnel. Any force applied must be limited in its intensity and duration. It is only commensurate with the level of threat posed. Force shall only be used when absolutely necessary to achieve an immediate aim. The decision to open fire shall be made only on orders and under the control of the unseen commander. Unless there's insufficient time to obtain such order, fire can, however, be open if the life of the soldier, any law-abiding member of the public, and or property of which is your duty to protect is in grave danger. Other rules of engagement are shown on the scene. But take note, automatic fire will only be open as a last resource. After firing has ceased, render medical assistance and record details of incidents both in writing and using audiovisual equipment where a lot of casualty has been recorded. We also have guidelines for the use of force. And this, every officer or commander, a corporal is a commander. A corporal is a junior commander because he's a section commander. Must imbibe these rules of engagement. The Nigerian army does not just operate in a vacuum. Everything is laid down. Even from the time you wake up to the time you sleep, it's all written. The guidelines are probably a rehashment of the earlier rules of engagement I gave you. But force must not be used at all unless it is necessary. Force is unjustifiable unless the immediate effect can be achieved by using it within the soldier's legal power. 
These are other guidelines for the use of force on the street. This brings me to the Lekki Tobit incident. <coughs> As earlier mentioned, when troops were deployed, the 65 Battalion, acting under 85 Division Garrison, formed a mobile team. to patrol up to Ekber, Ibejuleki, Shogotelu, and Badori, all those areas. When they got to the Tokit, the area around the Tokit, the police was already trying to deter people who wanted to burn the Oriental Hotel on the left. And the commander on the ground met genuine Elsa's protesters and some hoodlums. By the time you are reaching that area, as you see in this video, the, air, the protesters wearing light colors, some white and things like that, came to challenge the soldiers and started pelting them with stones and bottles. <laughs> you can see here. These are the hoodlums and copy about. You can see the soldiers coming there. This, it is a pity there's no volume here. You will have, um, perhaps you see the muscle flashes. You can see that? You can see they are firing in the air. And more so, firing blank ammunition. Because the commander on the ground made the determination that despite the provocation from this good gun, if he fired a light bullet at them, it might hit a genuine protester. Acting under the maxim that is a bet is better a thousand guilty men go free than you make injury to one innocent person, he used the blank ammunition to disperse the crowd. This is another perspective. Please observe the soldiers when they reach this crowd. Observe the positions of their muzzle. You will notice they were all muzzled up, firing into the air.
By then, the genuine NSAS protesters had sat on the followers. And after a while, the soldiers were able to push them after the toll gates. At this juncture, my lord, I think we have to fix the volume of it because this presentation will be incomplete if we do not listen to the audio. <laughs> They want to ensure that we have an audio to what the general has been playing uh, all along. So the panel is rising. Uh, we'll be, they will be coming back in in a short while. Please don't go anywhere while we. Um, continue to watch what is happening at the panel of inquiry. We'll be back once the panel arrives.